Hey guys, hope you're having a lucky day. Um, yeah, it's nice, well, 6.30 on a Monday morning. I'm just waiting for Cherry to open so I can fetch my little car, which is parked down there. Um, like with all the reviews that I'm doing with the cars, I'm now just going to give my little opinion, um, just a quick little thing. Uh, the pros, the cons, you know, the usual people do on the cars. Um, now, first thing I'm going to start off with, if you are looking to buy the T4, and you want something slightly bigger with the space, the T7 is more than enough. Believe me, take the, the T7. Yes, it's a little bit pricier, but if you need that extra space, rather take the T7. If you want the T8, but it's a little bit out of your price range, the T4, uh, the T7 is more than sufficient. Um, yes, it doesn't have the, quite the power of the T8, but uh, for the 1.5 that's in here, it's more than sufficient. I had four adults in here with myself included and i'm not a small guy as i always say um i had her in eco mode not even in sports mode in eco mode with the aircon on its max um we were doing crawling at about 20 k's an hour floored it and she picks up very nicely yes with a cvt there is a slight delay but it's in the t4 as well but it's depending on how you floor her and you press the pedal it picks up very quickly which is nice I then did actually do one with the aircon off as well as the uh, sports mode on. And i got to be honest, it felt a little quicker. Not much, but there was a little bit of a difference. You could feel it, especially when it changes the gears. Because obviously with the sports mode, um, it holds the gears higher till about 5,500 RPM. Whereas the eco mode with it changes at about 4,000 if I remember correctly. Um, one other thing I will say about the car is that uh, the suspension is basically perfect, if I can put it that way. Um, it's not too hard like the T4 or too sporty like the uh, Max, um, but yet it's not so soft as the T8. I found the T8 suspension very comfortable and very good, but a little, little soft. This one is slap bang in between perfect. Um, you can comfortably take corners at high speeds, which I did do. Um, and you can comfortably sit on the highway cruising with this one. Even my wife said, um, driving passenger side yesterday, that uh, this one just feels a lot softer than um, the one I've got, the T, uh, T4 Elite. So those are one of the you know things especially. Um, the space, look, I would have loved, if I had known that this car was going to be released when I bought mine, uh, the day I picked up, my T4 um, literally was the day that uh, Cherry released the T7. So if I'd waited an extra week to pick up mine, I would have seen this and I would have bought this instead. Um, I like the extra space. The boot is nice. And as you guys would have seen in the uh, previous videos, it actually has a full size 18 inch tie in the boot, which is nice as well. Um, I'm one of those guys, I always like having it, the, the, the tires around normal. Um, that's why even in my car, I've actually got a repair kit as well as a compressor. Um, I'm not too fond of driving on those Mori biscuits. I can understand the safety on them, but if I can repair the car on the side of the road, you know what? I would rather do that. Um, obviously you need to take into consideration how, uh, damaged the tire is, especially with these potholes. Um, that being said... Look, I'm really enjoying doing all these cars and all these reviews. Um, I can't say... Uh, uh, Cherry just are bringing the game to all the manufacturers. All the manufacturers now, now need to actually stand up and take note of what Cherry are doing. And how they are um, changing this uh, market. You know, everyone said, oh, when uh, Haval came in with all their cars and they were a cheap price, you know, they were trying to change the market. <laughs> I'm sorry. Cherry's taking that stick and they're running away with it. You know, you're not going to keep up with them. Um, so that being said, yeah, um, I see some of the people arriving. So I'm going to quickly end the video. You can hear the guy on his uh, Harley. Um, they're busy finishing up and coming to open up so I can grab my car. I've got to head out to work. You know what? I wish my job was just reviewing cars. I'm a big car fan, big car nut. So... That's all I want to do. <laughs> so once again, guys, um, come check out the cherries. Check out, uh, come down to Centurion um, Cherry. 
the year at uh, uh, what's his road uh, Hendrik Verwood but the official address is Ivan Street I just uh, Hendrik Verwood and Galway um, yeah in Centurion just off Hennops Park um, come speak to the guys they are very nice they're very helpful the mechanics know what they're doing the one guy Rudy he has been on uh, many courses for the cherries he's he knows them inside and out um, so if there's anything technical I'll go and talk to him to find out more details but then all in all just the general you know how the cars are going and you know they also want my opinion and I report back to them to say okay, this is what I like this is what I don't like this is what they need to check out so in this way we're actually helping each other grow this um, uh, brand and I'm glad that I'm able to take part in it and then I just need you guys to come and check out their cars and then also um, subscribe to my channel like it because then obviously they allow me to do more and more cars okay guys i am going to go um one last thing is i love the sunroof you know just this massive sunroof that you can go and close and open it uh, i need to switch that on just it is so awesome but yeah you would have seen uh, beautiful okay guys just just have a lucky day bye